Hunter Collector here with another video. Before the video starts, I want to let you guys know to make sure you hit that subscribe and notification button. It really helps out showing the support for the channel. I do a bunch of other stuff besides gaming. I do drawing, building, collecting, uh, workouts, cooking, um, and then a bunch of other cool stuff with my friends. Um, and if you want me to put me posting more videos each day, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know. Uh, but besides that, let's get right into the video. Hello everyone, this is Don Collector here and welcome back to another action figure review. And here we have the Marvel Legends X-Men Origins Wolverine, uh, Wolverine figure. Up. But let's go over to that box here so you get this nice looking blue box color here. And then you get this little... X right here for the X-Men with the gold outlining. You get some more gold detailing throughout here. The gold X with the Marvel Legends symbol there, Wolverine. Here's the little silhouette of Wolverine for the side box art. Here's the back with the same thing. And then it says Wolverine right here. Same thing on the other side. And then here's the DCPI in the bottom for you. But besides that, let's crack this thing open. And Actually, before I crack it open, I got the best thing to open it up with. It's not actually real. I'm not sure if I'll be able to open it, but yeah. Got this too. I got it for like, uh, what was it? Like five bucks on AliExpress. Same place where I got that one Spider-Man figure that everyone's saying is a ripoff of, or not a ripoff, like a a scam of the pizza spidey it's not it's a custom figure just an fyi there we go see just like that got it. but yeah these are pretty cool they're plastic they're not real uh not real metal i like it though that's really good on my hand but yeah and then here's wolverine out of packaging i really like it um, so to start off with for accessories, he comes with these extra fists or Wolverine claws. These are the Animantium claws. They look really cool and they like chaffered the ends here to make, give it that more realistic. Oh, dropped it. Uh, but give it that more realistic kind of blade look to it. I like it a lot. And then you get these bone claws which I actually really like. It looks very much like in the it looks like them in the movie. Really nice and bony, yellow. And yeah. And then, yeah, you get this one head sculpt here. The calm face. My camera will focus a little bit. And then you get this like gritting teeth one, getting that more of a Wolverine hair look. Uh, the only thing that throws me off with the head sculpt that kind of makes me feel like it's not does not look like Hugh Jackman, but it does. It's just like a little hair right here, but that's the only thing that throws me off. But it does look like Hugh Jackman. And I like what they did for the chops here. Good job in that stuff. Hair looks good. And same with this. It, it, instead of X-Men Origins Wolverine, I got to admit, it gives me... Uh, I mean, it gives me the X2 vibes for this one, where it, uh, but whereas X-Men Origins, his hair was a little more longer, foofed up, it's not like this. Um, honestly, I kind of like the X-Men Origins look a little bit more, to be honest, but, I mean, not more, but I thought it looked really cool, but, and then you get this little necklace here. You could take that off if you'd like. So you could get him to look like this. Uh, but I'll probably have him wearing that. And yeah. Uh, but that's all I've got for accessories. Uh, but yeah, like I said, let's go over the look here. So like I said, for the head sculpts, it looks really a lot like Hugh Jackman here. Um, and then like I said, you get this necklace. Um, and then we got the uh, non-existent, well, I mean, a you don't get the pin holes or pin you don't get pinless joints that's what they're called pinless joints uh so 
I like how they're going on with that. So you don't get those, but you get you get the pins on the legs, but I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Um, but yeah, they did a really good job on the sculpt, body sculpt here. Um, and then for the shirt here, I'm not sure if you guys are able to see it, but they get the, they sculpted these little lines here. Uh, and then they give it that like little bit of yellow. You guys can't really see it as well as I can really, I don't think. But yeah, they gave it a little bit of yellow wash, like some, like along the lines somewhere, some places. I mean, sorry. And yeah, and then for the belt, they got that nice belt here, nice gold paint for the pants. And then here's just jeans. Looks really cool. I like what they did for it. Instead of just going on full, just like navy blue, they added this little bit of like denim looking color here to give that denim jean look and you get these brown boots here but yeah i really like the look of this figure this guy is awesome um but then let's go over his articulation so he does not have that dumbbell disc joint here so it's a just double ball joint I mean, double dumbbell ball joint whatever you want to call it so he can only look up that far and you can look down a little bit. Uh, you get him side to side. Uh, he has a live head pivot. That's mainly why they have the double ball joint. Um, and then now his shoulders can move out that far. You get this butterfly joint here, which I am actually happy to add to that in. Um, you get 360 rotation around the shoulder. It's a little clicky, but I mean, it's, you don't hear the click, but it feels clicky. Uh, you get the bicep swivel, double jointed elbows here. If I get that other joint there, there we go. So you get to go way past 90 degrees with this one. I like this. You should go on with all the figures like that. Uh, wrists can hinge down that far. They can go up that far and you get 360 rotation. Uh, one thing I will say about the claws, by the way, you can pour them out, but you can do that, but it leaves that huge gash in there. Uh, same thing with the other metal claws. Like, they're not, the gashes aren't so uh, visible on the other comic. Sorry. Uh, it's not so visible on the comic uh, figure Wolverines, like the Old Man Logan, the uh, comic version costume of Wolverine and stuff. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm not going to really be taking these off. I actually like them all on. So, um, and then uh, for the ab crunch here, you can get him to go down that far. Backwards, very far. He has a 360 rotation waist swivel. His legs can kick out that far. It's okay. He doesn't really kick out to the side like Spider-Man does. Uh, and then he can kick forward that far also not that bad and kick backwards like none uh he has a thigh cut here he has double jointed knees here and then his ankles can hinge down just a little bit because the jeans are kind of getting in the way here up same deal not that much and you get some ankle pivot but jeans are kind of getting in the way but overall really cool figure i and cannot wait for the other figures for the X-Men waves. Um, and I will be putting them in with my like MCU just because I feel like it movie figures. So yeah, I love this figure a lot and I highly recommend getting it. Um, but besides that, that's all I've got. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out my buddy's Instagram page at Highlight Photos. He does really cool photos. Also, my two best friends that I usually play Call of Duty with, sometimes with other games. They have card pages. Christian's card page is BadBuke767. Uh, Connor's card page, well, he doesn't really have one at the moment. His Jeep's gone. He has a new car. I will update it when he like decides to put up an Instagram page for it. Um, to uh, sending, donating to my PayPal. It's supposed to help me out with getting Get me being able to do that and I'll also get more games uh, to do reactions to. When I get the PS5, uh, I'll do a review on it. 
and then also the games for it. Um, more camera, better camera equipment, uh, and a few other things to help make the views a little bit better. And then so, uh, I will try putting up my own merch store at some point. I just need time to do it. I'm in the middle of baseball right now. I will figure out some way to do it. I do not have a laptop myself at the moment. So if you guys could help me out by donating to my PayPal, it would be really awesome. But besides that, um, if you really enjoy my nerdy, funny, gaming, uh, workout, uh, sports videos, other stuff like that, uh, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.